back. A Macon Foundation rolling out the welcome mat and the thank you mat for caregivers today, treating 30 caregivers to a day of pampering. Now it's all to help those who help others every single day. Simone Soublet joined the caregivers to talk about why they say this was a really well-deserved day. I want to bless them here. And so we blessed 29 people today with a pampering. The caregivers received manicures and pedicures. Some got their eyebrows threaded and men were treated with a haircut and a beard trim. Two out of three people, they are caregiver or somebody in their family is a caregiver for someone. Roger Jackson, founder and executive of Motivating Youth Foundation, says he was inspired after caring for his mother. He says he learned firsthand what goes into being a caregiver. Everybody get that, just have a day to themselves, a half a day away from being a caregiver. And a uh, caregiver is a 24 hour job. Vivia Harris Cabanis has been caring for her mother for the past five years. On Monday, she got a day to care for herself. A pampering day, relaxation, you got to get some of the stress off of you sometimes. Vivia mentioned how it's hard to find time out of her day to treat herself, even for an hour or so. I commend anyone that is a caregiver because it is hard. I never knew what all it takes to actually take care of someone. A day to celebrate caregivers also turned into a day of making lifelong connections. A day just to relax and, you know, be pampered and just say, Thank you, you know, for what you do. It means a lot. The day included a catered lunch, entertainment, and guest speakers with words of encouragement. The caregivers we honor today, including our host, Roger Jackson, have continually been rainbows in other people's clouds. Thank you all for doing that. And when it comes to the city of Macon... My heart is in this community. No matter where I come from, where I've been, you know, I came back home to give back. In Macon, Simone Souble. 13 WMAZ News. And next year, Roger and the Foundation plan on increasing the number of caregivers uh, and also to widen the net to people 50 and over. We're taking a closer look at caregivers and what they sacrifice to help others. A study by Resource Center Seniorly shows 53 million Americans are burnt out. They are collectively providing an estimated $600 billion in care, says the AARP. Georgia ranks in the top five for most burnt out caregivers, preceded by Florida, Arizona and South Carolina. In the future, demand for long term care is projected to jump almost 44 percent. Georgia is one of the states with the lowest rate for caregivers with health insurance at around 88 percent. AARP says the average caregiver spends more than $7,000 out of pocket annually on care. And nearly one third of dementia caregivers in Georgia are in the sandwich generation, meaning they are caring for an elderly parent along with a child or grandchild.